Good afternoon. Thanks for your company watching the closing bell. Well, a positive start for November and a positive close for Friday. The Aussie share market did fall sharply at the open though and clawed back from earlier selling, ending slightly higher or 0.1% higher. We did have sour leads from the get-go though as Wall Street closed in the red with equities falling from their fresh record highs as markets are looking to uh, looking um, less optimistic about phase one of the trade deal being signed, which is why we saw the trade bellwether stock Caterpillar shares lose almost 2% back locally. ANZ shares remained under pressure again after they missed profit expectations by about $14 million after they delivered their full year profit of $5.95 billion to the market yesterday. Today, ANZ had its price target slashed by JP Morgan, Macquarie and Credit Suisse all taking ANZ's price to now sit between $26 and $26.50. Nevertheless, its shares are closed at $26.19, suggesting that there is some upside if you are looking to buy this big four bank and their shares are now back to where they last sat in August. However, zooming out bigger picture, what did the trade screens look at? Well, they were mostly positive today. Healthcare up the most today, up over 1%. Energy communication services up over 0.8% and industrials followed. As for the leaderboard, New Hope Corp shares clocked up the biggest gain today, up almost 7% after reporting their new Ackland coal mine project in Queensland now has no further barriers to getting that final needed Queensland government tick of approval. New Hope, uh, for those that don't know, already has a massive tick of approval. It's owned majority or 50% by Washington H. Sol Patterson. Pilbara Minerals also saw a lot of love today, rising over 6%, benefiting from the major lithium plays around the world, which are facing disruptions from Chile protests. While on the other side, Jumbo fell the most today, down about 8%, followed by ProMedicus going back Back to Jumbo, we think this stock has got more room to run as these stocks tend to typically do well when the economic conditions slow. And that's clearly where we're at at the moment, given, given the most recent uh, economic pulse checks, which is why Morgan Stanley says Jumbo Interactive's winning streak should continue. Uh, Morgan Stanley's price target for Jumbo Interactive is $24 and today it fell to $20.44, losing $1.00. 77 and some people did indeed take today's fall as a buying bargain opportunity. What to watch tonight in the US? Well November is expected to start on the front foot as well with the futures already suggesting a rise and November is of course a traditionally positive month in the US. Currently the Dow futures are suggesting a lift of over 50 points. We're also uh, keeping an eye out for the US unemployment rate for October and that's expected to rise to 3.6% in the month from the prior unemployment reading of 3.5%. Have a great evening and I'll see you on Monday.